<laughs> hey, what is going on everyone? It's me, Mr. Mario, and today I'm going to be showing you all how you can easily upgrade your existing soft mod or essentially re-soft mod your original Xbox using Rocky V's Xbox soft modding tool. Now, this is the recommended soft mod to use if you are using a soft mod on your original Xbox console just because it ends up cleaning up several things on the back end which previous soft mods might not have done properly. Uh, this is going to be the best update that you can do on your system software wise so to speak and really this is just what's recommended going forward. Now if you have a original Xbox which is not soft modded this video is not for you. I will have another video separately showing how to take your system which is unmodded and modify it using the Rocky 5 Xbox soft modding tool, but this video is specifically for anybody who already has a soft modded original Xbox. So this is going to require a few things. First of all, of course, this will require your system. As you can see, this is a system I have which I just set up with SoftMod Installer Deluxe 5.12. Although it doesn't matter which version you're using just as long as it is soft modded, you're okay. You're also going to need a blank DVD and a Windows-based PC. So without further ado, let's go ahead and move over to the PC so I can show you the rest of this. When you're at your PC, go down to the links in the description which will have the Rocky 5 Xbox soft modding tool. In order to utilize this, all you need to do is click on clone or download and click download zip. This will download the latest build onto your PC. While that's downloading, you're also going to need a burning program for this. I'm going to recommend Image Burn, which the link for this will be down below in the description, where you can just go to the download page and grab a download from here. Once your zip file is done downloading, all you need to do is right click, extract here, and wait a few seconds for this to finish. It should create a new folder for you, which when you go in here, it looks a little bit daunting, but this is really easy. All you need to do to build the image file is go to build XISO, double click that bat file, and wait a few seconds for this to finish. And as you can see, that is done. So if you go down here, there should be Xbox soft modding tools extra disk .iso. Just double click this if you're using image burn. And as you can see right here, this is all the information. So the ISO has been loaded up. That is the disk I'm going to be writing to. And I recommend burning this onto a DVD for best compatibility. I believe you can also burn this onto a CDR, but some Xbox drives are a little bit iffy with that, so just use a blank DVD. Now burn this at the slowest possible speed. As you can see, my default is set to 2.4x, and right here, the supported write speed is 2.4x. So once you have all that narrowed down, just click right, and wait a few minutes for this to finish. All right, so as you can see, it is getting done with the disc here. Let's just wait. There we go. So it's all done. All you need to do is press OK, exit out of this. Now take the disc out of your DVD writer and pop it into your Xbox. Once you pop it in, it should hopefully recognize it as a game. If it does, congratulations, just hit launch DVD and wait a few seconds for this to boot. Once you've opened this up, all you need to do is go down to the advanced menu, enter menu here, and you'll have a few options for updating or upgrading. Now for these, this is if you're already using Rocky 5's tool. So if you're using his 2014 soft mod, you can update it. If you're using another variant of this, you can update that as well too. However, we are not going to be using either of those. We're going to be using the upgrade old soft mods because again, I know I used soft mod installer deluxe 5.12. So just press A on upgrade old soft mods. It'll warn you that you need to have a minimum of 30 megabytes free on the e-partition. We have about four gigabytes, so for us, that's not going to be an issue, but press OK. Now it's going to warn you that this is for upgrading your old soft mod, and that's exactly what we want to do. So I'm going to say yes and just wait a few seconds for this. A good thing to note here is if at any point your Xbox's LED color changes to red, don't worry, that's just a feature of the disc itself. But here it's going to tell you that this is your last chance to do what you want here. So just press A to finish your upgrade on this. And if we really want to, press A again. 
and now just wait. And here you're going to need to know your region. So because I know that this is a NTSC Xbox, I'm going to select NTSC. And now just wait a few minutes for this to finish. It's going to tell you here that your EEPROM is going to be backed up to your E backups EEPROM folder. Just make sure you take note of that. Again, if you have a SoftMod Xbox, you should have already backed up and backed up your EEPROM again, but this is just going to warn you here. So this is just going to let you know what's going on with that. You can hit A. All right, so now at this point, it's going to eject your disc. At this point now, all you need to do is remove the disc itself physically from your DVD tray, which is open, and press A. It's now going to go through the rest of its steps to essentially re-soft mod your Xbox, so just wait a few minutes here. So now, once it's gone through all those steps, congratulations, this is how your Xbox should be looking on normal boot. So you, if you don't like this setup here, because this is a quite different menu, it's cleaner, but I know it's probably different than what you're used to, all you need to do is go down to your settings, go to skins, go to default, hit A to select that, and then press the start button. Now, because again, this does reset everything, you're probably going to have to also adjust, you know, your screen settings and all that too, which I'll do right here. So with all that said and done, congratulations, you now have your Xbox upgraded and essentially re-soft modded. So there's a few other things that you can do while you're here as well too. First of all, you might notice that it's a little bit too quiet. So all you need to do to fix that is take your DVD, pop it back into your system and launch it. First of all, let's re-enable those background sounds. So for this, all you need to do is go into dashboards, go to MS dashboards, Select stock MS-5960 and install. It's going to ask if you want to proceed. Say yes. Let it clean up the C drive. And it's now going to ask if you want to install the audio. You don't need it, but since this is what we want to do, say yes. And wait a few minutes. And now it will tell you that it's been installed, so you can press OK. So that's it, everything has been installed at this point, so if you want to, you can also go in, check out the other applications here as well. There's a lot of really good stuff here, uh, dashboards, homebrew if you want to play around with any of that, and of course your game mods. There's some really good stuff there, and picking any of these to install is really as easy as pressing A, and picking where exactly you'd like to install it to, and that's about it. I'm not going to be going into all the details here, but I am going to restart the system and show you all the one more thing. This is the last thing I'd recommend doing on your system here. Go to Applications, go over to NK Patcher Settings, and press A to load that. Now you're treated with another familiar looking menu and the final modification I recommend doing to your system is nulling out your EEPROM. Essentially, I'm going to run a scenario by you. Let's say you never backed up your EEPROM on your Xbox, you don't know how to extract it from your motherboard and your Xbox's hard drive ends up crashing. Well, every single Xbox system essentially has a key which is on that hard drive which is unique to the console. Console. That is why you cannot swap out hard drives willy-nilly on soft modded systems. That's why it is required to back up your EEPROM so you can restore your system and build a new hard drive. What this will do is it will change that hard drive key to all zeros and if you ever need to unlock the hard drive on another PC, it will change the password to team assembly. All one word, all uppercase. So this is not going to change the way your Xbox functions, it's just going to protect you in case there's ever a hard drive crash. But for this, all you need to do is go to EEPROM, Advanced Features, Hard Drive, and Null Key, and press A. It's going to explain the process to you, which this will essentially unlock your hard drive, make the modifications, relock the hard drive, and make more modifications. So press yes to this. And as you can see, that's going to be your master password. So press OK and wait.
So that is it. If you ever want to play around with any of the other settings here, again, I'd recommend you go around and play with these, but I'm just going to exit back out to the dashboard. Now that you're back at the dashboard, I would recommend backing up your EEPROM because technically it's going to be different. So for that, you just need to use your favorite FTP software to get it off your system. But all you would need to do is go over to your system, file explorer, eDrive, and it's sitting here in backups. And that is where your new NOLD EEPROM, well, NOLD key EEPROM is going to live. So that's about it. At the end here, just wrapping everything up, we've upgraded successfully from a old soft mod to the latest revision out of JC Rocky 5's or Rocky 5's Xbox soft modding tool. We've also been able to null out the key to protect ourselves later. And that's about it on here. So again, I'd recommend mess around with NK Patcher settings, look into those, there's a lot of really cool stuff here. Look into the extras disc, that has a lot of awesome stuff as well too that you can install. And finally, a big thank you to Rocky5. Without a doubt, I can say this is the best soft modding tool I have used, and this is the soft mod I would recommend anyone uses if you're a first timer or if you have a soft mod that you've already installed and you need to upgrade to. Anyways, this is Mr. Mario signing off. Thank you all for watching, everyone. If you enjoyed this video, a like would absolutely be appreciated. And if you didn't like it, a dislike is fine as well, too.